Hey guys, I'm Mute Dan. And I'm Otaku Ken. Welcome to Random Talks, our podcast-like series. How are you, Dan? Cramping. How about you? I'm full. Mm. <laughs> I had Chinese for lunch. Mm. You're full? I'm full. Well, he is silly. I said I'm full, not a fool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Thor. You're Thor? Well, it hurts. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, this program is brought to you by Sand. It's everywhere. Get used to it. <laughs> Anyways. Uh. <laughs> oh, man. So, I wanted to say one thing before we jump into the main part of the video. Uh, Hasbro, you, don you, you, you screwed up. What do they do now? I was going to say the F word, but I remember YouTube new algorithm don't really like the F word. Uh, we got to get a sensor on this. Well, it's not so much we need a sensor. We need to learn how to uh, edit videos better. True. <laughs> uh, they released a, a formal apology uh, using the name of the current creative director of D Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, he's been in the position for like three, four months. So they're using him as a scapegoat because he has no sway. And oh. everyone, some people are like, okay, yeah, well, but we'll see what happens with the new OGL. And then, then, the, then there's people like me who go, I won't believe it until I see something in writing. So I don't believe you. Yeah, basically. So yeah, there's that. Um, if you want to check out more details of it, um, if this comes out the day we're filming, uh, go check out D D shorts. Uh, He's been going over a lot of the, uh, the content that he's been getting from some insiders at Wizards of the Coast. Uh, definitely worth a watch, even if you don't really follow Dungeons & Dragons like that. It's still interesting to watch how a community that's been based off of, let's see, 80s, 90, no, 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000, 2000, roughly 50 years of Dungeons and & Dragons. And it's built a community so massive, and then they go ahead and do this. And then they're like, oh, these fools, they will never, they'll never uh, be they able like to. the bad guy from the Dungeons Dragons, don't they? Yeah, yeah. They, they are basically looking us right in the eye and go, we're billionaires. You can't do nothing. <laughs> Roll for initiative. One. We don't buy yourself anymore. What? <laughs> yep, basically. That's what happened with uh, everyone canceling their D&D Beyond subscriptions, including Ooh. myself. Ironically, but, uh, this all happened... Uh, my subscription renewed, I think, early December, so I still technically have a full year. But yeah, I canceled it, so I still have access to all my stuff for a year. And then I'll be able to save all my documents and all that on uh, something else in the meantime. I mean, hey, if Hasbro gets its head out of its butt and actually listens to the community like they originally said they would, then we wouldn't have this issue. They Okay, I told you about the Unearthed Arcana stuff, right? I believe so. So basically, it's playtest material. And they would always get some... You get a survey. What do you think of this? What can be improved? This, that, and the other. And then you get published. An insider literally came out and said, Oh, no. They make these surveys. So you don't have places to complain anywhere else. So you feel like your voice is being heard. Mm. It's literally, they gather all this data and just throw it away. Wow. Look at all this useful information. That's good for fire kindling. Basically. Like Hop Pop from, uh, from uh, Amphibia. Yep. <laughs> Put it in the barrel. I'm sure it's going to be good. Knocks it the barrel. Fire pit underneath. No! Yeah, yeah. That's basically what they're doing. Yeah, that's exactly. No, no, that is exactly what they're doing. Uh, so, yeah, there's not a lot good coming from Hasbro right now and, and Wizards of the Coast. Um, they probably will have... The next, uh, we'll see what happens as far as the Magic of the Gathering end of it looks like, the card game. But it ain't looking good. Well, at least it'll have any sway over Vox Machina. Well, they're a third party that's been playing Dungeons and & Dragons. And if this OGL goes through, then they'll probably have to do something as well. Change the name? Not even change the name. They'll probably have to change some gods' names, uh, change up some spells... If they, you know, they even, uh, on the show, if they even say anything like that. Mm. And then, um, yeah. Because uh, they can copyright names in their book. They can't copyright the rules themselves. True. So, we'll see where it goes from there. 
Huh. Yeah, well, it's going to be funny if they uh, had to change the name of the gods. be like, actually, my god changed their name. To what? To this. Where did this happen? Recently. Oh, it looks like a god is mad. A little tiny furry god. A tappy tappy over feet. <laughs> a little dog, if y'all can hear that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that, that's really all as far as Hasbro right now. We don't really have much any more information. There'll be more later on today from D and D Shorts. I know that he's making a really big video explaining what's been going on from stop to finish. Um, so we'll see what happens from there. What's the new for you? <laughs> hmm. Mm. If you say nothing, I will throw you into that camera and send you to Jesus. I got something. Not a thing. Uh -huh. I got, you said nothing. You said nothing. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, let's see. Hmm. Oh, there is something I, would do, I do want to talk about. Something came out a while back, so people probably know about it. But a little cartoon short with Oswald the Lucky Rabbit from Disney. The first thing they did after so many years, after Epic Mickey came out. Yeah, no, no, you're right, you're right, you're right. Uh, here's my thing. I'm hoping they do. It was not on the Wii, or was it, it the Wii U at that point? I believe the first one was on the Wii, <sighs> and possibly even a few other consoles. Let's see. But I know Epic Mickey 2 came out for other things, because it's on Steam. Well, I mean, um, 360, Wii. Um, 3DS as well, I believe. I'm, I'm going to the Wikipedia page. Um, PS3, Wii, 360, P, uh, PS, PC, <laughs> uh, the PS Vita, and Wii U. So it did, but the thing, this is the weird thing. They were three different studios working on it for different consoles. Hmm. So what you're getting for the PC is probably completely different from what they got on the Wii. True. Which, I mean, that makes sense considering the, um, controls. But why is the Wii U and the Wii are two different studios? <laughs> That's the part I don't get. Who knows? I know the 3DS one is actually like, is like a different storyline completely. It's like a sequel. There, well, that, that's a different game. Ah. Something about Dark Castle, something like that. Uh, yeah. Now, I've only brought Oswald the Lucky Rabbit back with actual Mickey. Well, I think what's going to happen was the. Did you see the short already? I saw the short. Did he speak? No, I think they kind of treat it like an old cartoon in a way. So the colorized. real question is, now that they own Oswald, now that they're making cartoons about him, will they give him a voice? Well, they did. In Mickey 2, he had a voice. That was a voice, but that was, will that be his official voice, is what I'm saying. They haven't used it since. I hope so. You know why? The voice fit really well. Hmm. Uh, as far as I know, it was just like a like a five-minute cartoon short. Yeah. And I think it was also promoting something, but they used Oswald, which I liked because it was kind of like him being late for his own cartoon short from the past with his mm -hmm. girlfriend on screen waiting for a kiss from him. He's trying to get to the movie theater, and he has the money to get in the theater. He's like, but doesn't he technically work there if he's got to be on the screen? <laughs> Cartoons. It reminds me of that Mickey short that came out recently where they he got sucked into an old cartoon of himself. Mm -hmm. And he was kind of running in and out and became new, old, new, old. Because there was two holes oh, in the screen. Oh, like he was going through time and space. Not so much time and space. Like, the, the, you had the screen. There was two holes in the screen. He ran out. He was in color. He ran in. He was black and white. He ran out. He was in color. <laughs> and he was black and white. Hmm. Actually, it kind of reminds me of the uh, 3D experience at Disney World. Which one? The Muppets? No, 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 no. There's a... Oh, uh, um, Mickey's Fill Our Magic. That's it. The one where he breaks through those TVs uh, in the movie screen... Pete's kidnapping many, but it was all black and white at first until he breaks through and he's, you know, still his old... No, that's not Mickey's Fill Our Magic. Oh. Mickey's Fill Our Magic's the one where Donald has, puts on Mickey's sorcerer hat and does a music thing. Oh, yeah, yeah no, this one, this one was a, like, old-style Mickey Mouse cartoon. Was it still at, talking. Was it at Hollywood Studios? I can't remember. It's actually my second trip to Disney, so not the last, not the last one. Okay, the only place I can think of that they did this... Was um, it was at uh, Hollywood Studios? They have a theater in there. They sometimes will throw little snips of movies. Like when me and Jasmine went down there in 2018, we got to see the first like seven, eight minutes of Incredibles 2. Hmm. So, yeah. So it might have been that one. Then. It might have been that one. That's the only place thing. I can think of. Hmm. 
I'll look it up later just to make sure. Yeah. I can probably find it on YouTube. But yeah, um, let's see. Oh, uh, I y'all have missed quite a bit in the life of Otaku Kent in this last week. What's happened this last week? I already told you. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, Friday evening, uh, the southeast got hit by a pretty nasty storm. There was a lot of tornadoes. This has nothing to do with that storm. This followed the storm. It got cold. Uh, a live tree froze, and it broke, and it landed on the neighbor across the street's wire of the going from their house to the pole. And it, sh it pulled on the pole, shifting it, and yanked the mast out of our, uh, let me adjust, there we go. Uh, pulled the mast out of our ceiling. And so with those of you who don't know, the mast is that little pole thing where the wire goes into the house. And our house is from the 60s, so it's in the middle of the house instead of on the side like more modern houses. Well, because we still had power and it was just hanging there, the power company says, oh no, we have to turn your power off. That can cause us to start a fire. Uh -huh. So do you know what I did the next day? What? Me and my wife went to my grandma's house. Because there was no way I was staying in that cold weather, in our room, freezing. You know what it reminds me of? What? The snowstorm we had a few years back where I was out of power for a few days. When we had to film the Pikachu's uh, Christmas vacation video. Yes, and we, <laughs> and we were planning to do it at my house. And the power went out, but and, I had power at my house. Yeah, and we literally filmed the, uh, filmed the first, what, five minutes at my house in the dark. Woods cold, where you can literally see my breath. <laughs> and I was like, I'm going to do it like this. And we make a joke, and you're like, no, no, come on, we're going to my house. Which is wild, because you and I used to live literally minutes from each other. Mm -hmm. It made no sense. It wasn't it because that same line that goes from the pole to your house was also damaged? Yeah, what happened was the uh, same thing. A tree branch hit the, uh, hit the lines on the pole, and it yanked the neighbor's house out all the way, but... It, Pulled ours out partially. My dad tested all the lights. It's all only half are on, half are off. He knew that would cause problems. So he shut everything off. So instead of the power company, it was my dad had to do that. We had gas, so we had hot water. Mm -hmm. However, we had electric stove. Couldn't cook. I couldn't play any video games. Couldn't charge my phone until I got to work. You could have just charged it at my house. True. But at that, that time, you know... were not thinking about I, Well, I had worked, like, a few days in a row at that point. Oh. And I said that I'd stay at home because I didn't want to, you know, risk getting late, being late from, you know, yeah, being yeah, late yeah. to work and all that. It was annoying. It was all hell. So, yeah, uh, the whole house had to be updated, pull up the code. The box, the breaker box had to be moved outside instead of the basement. Uh, and we had to have smoke detectors installed in pretty much every bedroom, uh, which is really weird. Because, what I, okay, so the only light sources that are in the bedroom at night, I have an old night light that I used to have growing up. I plugged back in after Jasmine had uh, moved in. And it basically was uh, for us to maneuver around at night without being, having too much light. Then we got the PlayStation. No. Then we, uh, then we got a little charger thing for my Switch where it charges the controllers. They LED bright green lights when they're charged, and I'm like, washcloth on top. <laughs> so now it's dark. Well, now I have the night light and the light coming off of the smoke detector. It's a little faint, hazy green glow, and I'm sitting there going, "This is unnecessary." Wait till the battery starts dying and get me to sleep. <laughs> they're higher wired. Oh, so it actually hooked into the electric. Yep. And they're hardwired to the point where if one goes off, they all go off. Hmm, nice. Yeah. We still have the basic one that's it, the battery-powered one that's in the hallway. We're going to keep that just because it, may, it makes no sense. If there's a fire in the house when the power goes out and there's no, uh, you know, no smoke alarms, we still want to have a smoke alarm. Yeah. Better safe than sorry. Yeah. Uh, my biggest fear was the fact that I like burning candles. And that could set off a smoke detector. Well, they put it in the very... You, you know how the layout of my bedroom. It's got the in the corner where it has the door in the closet. It's literally right there. Better there than the middle of the room. True. But still. <laughs> uh, but other than that, I mean, we finally got everything up to code. The inspector came out uh, today and gave his final guesses 
a couple days ago, he did it through Zoom on a Zoom or a FaceTime or something like that, and he looked at it and goes, yeah, tell the power company you can turn it back on now. So we've had power since yesterday at the time of filming. So that's been nice. That's good. That's yeah, fine. we uh, packed up everything. Uh, my grandma fed us dinner after I got home from work, and we ate and packed up, and we said our byes and thank yous and all that. I'm actually going to go over to her house and clean up, uh, you know, vacuum, wash the sheets. She's in her 80s. She shouldn't be doing that by herself. Yeah. So help her out. You get, get, get everything cleaned up. So for, after having three people in her house for a week, three extra people. Your brother was there too? Yeah, David was there too. And your parents did it at their house? Yeah, they did. <laughs> Lord knows I don't know why Dad wanted to live his, his Eskimo life right now. Stubborn? Stubborn. Yeah, my parents are too. Um, yeah, uh, my... Their dog, Coco, went to a little doggy daycare. Or is David called it the penitentiary? It needs some time away from people. <laughs> Yo, he was so excited to come home today. <laughs> He's like, the people I hate. Yeah. Well, actually, no, he loves my parents. He stands me and uh, me and Jasmine. Can't stand David. Can't stand me either. He can't stand anyone outside the house. Took forever for him to get used to Jasmine. True. Yeah. Uh... I'm not going to lie. This feels weird. What, being spaced out now? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I remember we used to be almost like this. Yeah. And every time we move our hands. <laughs> <laughs> now we got to do this. <laughs> <laughs> Without hitting any furniture. Yeah, no giant uh, entertainment system here in the way. No bet on you and heck when we actually move into the actual studio yeah it's still in work of progress right now I, oh it's I, gonna I, be a minute it's gonna I, be a while yeah i need i need to get my shelf unit in there to put things away so you, you need your shelf you need time and you need motivation i need caffeine that's the fourth thing how many of those you got out of four none <laughs> how many do you really have possibly the caffeine do you have time? Not exactly. Every weekend I've worked, but I've uh, been pulled to overtime, which extra money, which is good. Uh, do you have the motivation? Halfway. <laughs> you know, there'll be times I'll put things away. All of a sudden, dang, I lost it. What'd you lose? My motivation. Uh. The drives that go on. I mean, I don't know what to tell you, man. I mean, it's going when the time comes when me and Jasmine finally. It's buy usually it. the season that always gets me. Yeah, uh, I, I mean, like I said though, if I mean when the time comes when me and Jasmine buy a house, oh man, that's going to be a nuts prop uh, thing. If we don't get your help with that, it's going to take forever. I can tell. Oh yeah, <laughs> but it should be easy to do this weekend. I don't think there's any plans going on that I know of. Well, we're not moving this weekend. Well, I know that. I'm just saying that. <laughs> You I know, know it was once just, I get everything... I know. I'm, I'm being an ass. Yes, you definitely look like one. Don't get... Eh. Oh, here's what we can talk about. Have you seen the new Puss in Boots movie? No. <laughs> can we talk about the advertising for that movie first? <laughs> they had Puss in Boots on Hot Ones. You know, I did not actually watch that yet. I saw it was on there. I was like... It makes huh. no sense. But here's the thing. The movie is so worth the watch. Is it really? It really is. It, it, does, it has the art style that it had for Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Mm. It actually looks really good because it's really fast-paced and you see all this. And you, you heard because of this movie they were making another Shrek movie though, right? I heard. I don't care. I hope they, did, I hope they uh, basically make it in the same way they had Puss in Boots. <laughs> because, oh my god... They did not let up on anything. There was actually talk of death in this movie. Like, well, I mean, he's a cat. He ran out of lives. I mean, yeah. Here's the thing. Uh, they have Goldilocks, three bears, as a crime family. Kind of, well, not like you know, not like mafia. More like they commit crimes as a family. But weren't they dead in the first one? No, I don't know exactly how this works. I mean, talking about <laughs> the two, you know, Mama Bear. What are they? Yeah, I don't know how this worked because I was trying to think of it was another story of three bears. No, just go lock three bears. Yeah. But I guess different regions have different types of fairy tales. I don't know. It's like one upon a time. There are many, I was many about to say, worlds of were, fairy they tales. They were dead in the first movie. Well, the mother was dead. The father and son were alive. Yeah. 
But still. Uh, however, these bears are like three times the size of those bears. And meaner. That and makes funnier. even less sense. I, I don't know. Uh, little, oh, what was his name? Uh, well, oh God, I just I remember I can't remember his name off the top of my head, but it's a nursery rhyme story kid. Uh, something about sticking with uh with a pie, sticking his thumb, put on a plum, and what a good boy am I? Tom Thumb? No, not Tom Thumb. I tried my thing to say. I was thinking the same thing, but it. Uh, uh, never thought I'd Google a nursery rhyme. Let's see, plum. Let's see, thumb. Plum pie. Little Jack Horner. That's it. Except in this movie, he's big Jack Horner. I mean big. I mean he's huge. They pulled a uh, they pulled a uh, what's it called a uh, Chippendale movie. Better. It was a better way. To well, do that. I'm sa I'm saying that he grew up. Yeah, he grew up, and he is like a he's like a he runs a. Pie Factory, and he's a like crime boss. It sounds like they just ripped off elements of the Chippendale movie and just this made it was better. better. This was a lot better than Chippendale <laughs> movie. Uh, there's also this little dog called Perito. Uh, it's like a little Chihuahua. He is extremely Taco innocent. Gay. Taco gay. No, not even like that. Maybe it's I think maybe he's a mixed job. I don't know. He's a small dog. Okay. Uh, basically, he he's called himself Puss and Boots as a therapy dog. He's <laughs> like, I don't need therapy. Uh, Kitty Soft Paws returns. Uh -huh. uh, their relationship, it kind of did that weird thing of, you know, uh, they were together in the last movie, but they're not together here. Something happened and all that, and they get back together a bit. But it's not like immediate. There's actual tension and reason why. I got you. Uh, the wolf. I am not going to spoil this. I'm not going to spoil this. However, I will say this. He got so many fans immediately. Okay, uh, first off, you should have said this. I'm not going to spoil this. I'm not going to spoil this, but I'm going to spoil this. <laughs> should have said it like that. Uh, second off, fans in the good way or in the furry way? Because I don't want it to be the second one. Both ways, honestly. Uh, hey, hey, I'm going to say this. I'm a fan of his. I'm like, oh my. This guy is cool. Because the way he makes his entrance, he whistles. And it's not like a. <laughs> no, I mean, he does a slow whistle and it like echoes a bit. It's like. No, he has a tune to it. Well, I, uh, I bet. But, yeah. Like that. But yeah, like a slow tune. It echoes a bit. It's like, that is an eerie whistle. And like the reveal of who he is. Because people are saying he's the big bad wolf. No, he's not the big bad wolf. He's on my foot. Uh, <laughs> no, well, even on my foot, I'd probably uh, have his gun go. Well. Uh, but this dude. was Is he the big bad wolf, but he's also some other known fairy tale thing? Or is he just a unknown that just got labeled the big bad wolf? He's unknown that got labeled by the fans at first as the big bad wolf. Hmm. If you watch the movie, you will understand. Is it on streaming yet? I don't think so. It is in theaters. I'm broke. I'm helping. Get fi fixed. I'm, I'm helping fix the house. Ah, well, <laughs> fix that. Get rich. You know, now that you say it, it's hard. <laughs> you young, young people don't know how to work ethically and save your money. Young, you're younger than me. Shut up! No one knows. <laughs> I know, I just make that joke because every other old person has said that to all of us. Oh, yeah. You don't have to save your money. We save our money. You know what happens? Bills! Timmy has 15 years worth of experience. He's nine. <laughs> how, does that, how does that even work? <laughs> are you a doctor yet? Not even, not even out of elementary school, Dad. Oh, oh man. But yeah, the movie was superb, and the way they handled it all was really fun. They even had Jiminy, oh, not Disney Jiminy Cricket, but they had Jiminy Cricket. Hey, Jiminy Cricket. Yeah, they had a conscience for Jack Horner. And the and like the whole thing, here's the thing, he shows up a little later because uh, Jack Horner's there a good one. No, <laughs> no, not even I, that. I know, up, the dude basically hoards magical items. Uh, and and he, Jiminy Cricket was considered a magical item? Technically, I guess. Mm. He's a conscience. Yeah. Uh, but like, like the whole time, Jimmy is trying to 
help him see the light, make everything, you know, try to see the good in everyone, just to reveal, oh, wow, you're just a monster. Uh, you just don't figure that out? <laughs> it's like, and yes, that's actually a part of the scene right there. Uh, so, speaking of movies, guess what comes out tomorrow? In select theaters. One Piece? No, that's been out. Oh. Uh, the Reincarnated as a Slime movie. Ah. Have you ever seen that, Cyril? I see the show. Okay. I like the show. It's really fun. Are you caught up? Depends. Did it just come out in the next season? I mean, not recently. Then yes, I'm all caught up. Okay. Uh, I want to see this movie. I probably won't have time to go see it. <laughs> if I'm honest. I really want to go see it, but I probably won't have time. Nah, the movie probably going to see it is like this. Get on a boat, raise a Jolly Roger, and start sailing to the streams. <laughs> I can't all you may all. <laughs> Pirate the show! <laughs> <laughs> oh man, yeah, that reminds me of a short I saw where it had uh, Queen Elizabeth II looking at a piece of paper going, The One Piece is real. <laughs> and then it, sh it started playing the uh, Japanese uh, Gold Roger, King of the Pirates bit. Uh, and it starts saying, uh, you know, it's all these people on boats and they're sinking as they're trying to go out. <laughs> Gold Roger, the King of the Pirates. <laughs> yeah, uh, we still got to review that show in its entirety, even that horrible. One from the one company that is no longer around. Thank God. But it's still at the mark. You know, only the only th good thing people still like about that show? Pokemon. I said show. What? The theme song. That's literally the only thing of that version of One Piece that people like. Yeah. In fact, the guy who actually did the pirate rap actually finished it with Jimby in the, in the intro, too. And why Jim Bay? <laughs> I don't know, but here's the thing. It bopped. Like he actually and he actually fixed the name of Zoro. Why? What was wrong with it prior? He was in the in the in that version of the show, he was called Zolo. Because they didn't want any copyright problems. <laughs> because of, you know, Zoro, Zoro. If there weren't any copyright issues in the Japanese version, there wasn't gonna be any copyright versions in the English version. <laughs> it was four kids. What do you expect? Jelly donuts. I mean, heck, they changed Mihawk's sword because it looked like a cross on his back. Yeah, they changed, which is oh, which is weird because they left the sword on, they left the cross on his necklace alone. Yeah, and they changed Captain Morgan's name because yeah, uh, you know, they changed Ace's name to Chase. To Chase because of the name of alcoholic drink, but it left Captain Morgan's name the same. Yep. Smoker to Chase and his power was steam. Yeah. Which I mean, let's be honest. Smoke is a type of gas, right? Yeah. We have Caesar Clown who is able to manipulate gas. Would that mean he'd be able to manipulate Smoker? There are contradictions even in the current One Piece. Possibly, but maybe he's a little different from Devil Fruit users. Yeah. Uh, let's see. And who, what else was different? There was something else. Oh, yeah. Frankie sounding like Elvis. I think that was just like a prompt. I think someone made a parody about that. Same one that would have been. Which I wouldn't doubt, honestly. I would not doubt it. Yeah. But they changed Sanji's uh, uh, oh, cigarette to a lollipop. And every gun was a water gun. Yeah. And they changed a whole bunch of TNT to sword. In the Drum Island episode of Chopper. I understand. My brain don't understand that. <laughs> Why? Why is it this way for? Who knows? No one knows at all. And not to mention, they cut a whole bunch of uh, episodes like uh, Laboon the Whale, which was an important part of the show because when you met me, Brooke. Yeah, they didn't get that far, thank God. Yeah, they uh, they ended before they even got to Skypea. No, they got to oh, Skypea, uh, they got to Water 7. They met Frankie. No, they didn't. Yes, they did. I don't think so. Yeah. Look it up. Because I think they had the game on How there. How far did four kids get in One Piece? Not F O R F O U R. Um, uh, covered the first one hundred forty-three episodes. So, if we go into Crunchyroll. Click on One Piece. Well, do remember, they did also cut off a few episodes, too. I know, but it still gives us a ballpark. 143. So... Uh, 
No, no, you're right, Sky Island. Because the next, Water 7 wasn't until 207. They didn't even finish uh, Sky Island. No, they didn't get to it. The last episode was, uh, like the last airing of it, at least on Cartoon Network that I heard of, was when they left the island of the Rainbow Mist, and a ship is falling on top of them. That was the last episode on the Cartoon Network from One Piece, uh, four kids. And that was it. No one knows what happened next. That version was immediately... Th Thanos came in and said, I don't like this. <laughs> <laughs> Thanos, Stark, and Hulk. <laughs> can we agree on this one? Yeah. I can agree. <laughs> <laughs> Just erased it all. And four kids, you know, it did good work on a few shows. Sonic X, okay, not Decent. bad. Kirby. Really fun. I love King Dedede's voice. Mm-hmm. I need something that will take down Kirby. <laughs> uh, Pokemon. Start out with Pokemon. Pokemon. They, they had their issues with Pokemon. <clears throat> but overall, yeah. at least they got to the end of Pokemon. True. The, the first like season. They completed seasons. Yeah, they actually completed seasons and they stuck to the main storyline. We only the lost only... Uh, the Safari episodes and the uh, Porygon episode. Yes, but the Porygon episode had its reasons in Japan as well. Yes. Safari episode was because of guns. Yeah, which didn't make any sense because One Piece still had water guns. You could have changed it to water guns for kids. You could have changed, changed it to water guns. You could have changed it to slingshots. Could have changed it to slingshots. <laughs> didn't have to be guns. But you still, you still said no. Yeah, because here's the funny thing. They still talk about all of Ash's Toros on the show. It's like... Even to this day. <laughs> even as the show is ending. We still don't have a conclusion on those Toros in the English. <laughs> The kids in the future be like, how did Ash get all those Toros? He went to Safari Zone. What's Safari Zone? It was an episode that was never aired. Why? Because four kids. What's that? You don't need to know. Yeah, you really don't need to know. But, uh, let's see, what uh, what else was Card Captor. Sakura. Yeah, I remember that one. Weirdly enough, I think that was still dark at four kids version, too. Let me put it this way. They, uh, they uh, did, uh, Sailor Moon. Mm-hmm. They did Card Captor Sakura. Both of which were not original. Uh, I mean, for the most part, not very uh, faithful to the original. Uh, for one, uh, two of the Sailor Scouts were supposed to be lesbians and uh, in love with each other, and instead they made them cousins. Yeah, and they even had the one episode with, uh, talking about their first kiss. So I'm like, yep. Clay? Welcome to Alabama. <laughs> Welcome to Alabama, uh, Japan. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, then we had the Card Capture Sakura, which they tried to advertise it for boys, but it made no sense because very few boys even watched it. Because it was a magical girl, mostly. Yes. Now, I watched it. It was because it was like a pretty fun show to watch. For the most part. For the most part. Uh, the only show that I think they did really well at was the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles one at that time, where they were mostly more adult than anything else. Yes. Well, I mean, you also got to consider, that, I mean... Despite them owning the rights to that one, it wasn't from Japan, so they didn't ha they didn't have to worry about. Most of the people in America knew what to make for Americans, so there wasn't a whole lot of censoring going on there. I'm sure. True. My only problem with that show was a lot of the weird key phrasing, like "What the shell?" I mean, yeah, it was weird, but it was good. Weird. I was like, okay, I can work with this. I think the only thing they really did though was a one time for the Fourth of July. Didn't they make Boba Bo in English? Maybe. I know that the actor who played Boba Bo said it felt like he was on drugs the whole series. Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, but the one sin that I cannot forgive four kids for is the time they made all their characters sing the national anthem. I remember I, that. <laughs> oh, yeah, so it was, it, was, it was very deep in their darkest vault, right? Yeah. Okay, uh, let's see. Bobo. Weekly Show and Jump. Viz Media for the manga. Manga. All right. Licensed by Disway Studio Toei. Um, Toonami Jetix. Cartoon Network. Cartoon Network. Toonami. Okay, I don't think they had their hands on it. So it was Toonami then? Uh, for the US, it was Cartoon Network Toonami. For the UK, it was Jetix. I don't know what this region is. India was Toonami, and Australia was Cartoon Network. Hmm. So the only weird one was the UK. <laughs> I miss Jetix. 
Eh, I didn't get, I didn't have satellite TV. I had basic cable. I didn't get Jet X, which is a shame because I missed a lot of Power Rangers. Weirdly enough, RPM was not on Jet X. What was it on? Uh, it was on the other channel that uh, they usually came on, like Fox something. Fox Box? I think so. That had Kirby and Ninja Turtles. Yeah, but that's because Disney was trying to push away from Power Rangers. Like, why would you do that for? Which is hilarious because I remember seeing the Power Rangers in my in MGM Studios. Yeah. Because uh, the first time I went there, they had the Yellow Ranger suit from the movie, I believe, in one of the stores there. Now it's no longer there. But that was that was uh, way after like all that was done with. So I was kind of surprised he had gone, but I guess they either sold it to the owners and all that, or lost the rights to it and had to give it back. Yeah. Who knows? Yeah. <sighs> Who knows? Maybe Disney will buy it again. No, they won't. <laughs> now that uh, freaking uh, Saban has sold it to Hasbro. Oh, that's right. They had to worry about that. the other superpower. I don't know. With the way they're handling D&D, they probably won't be around for much longer as far as yeah. that's concerned. Oh, here's actually some news about Power Rangers. The they're... 30th anniversary? Yeah, once a ranger. Yeah. They better have an homage to uh, Jason David Frank in there. I'm going to be mad. Well, they said they have a Green Ranger in there. Yeah. And I'm only like, let it be someone who was very close to him. Let it be someone who knew him really well. If they have to make it, uh, let's see... What happened to Austin St. John? He's still in trouble with something? I don't know. I, I mean, I could see Jenna, his daughter Jenna, taking up the mantle, but she's still a bit young. Yeah. Um, I think she's still in her early... I mean, she's in her early 20s, but the real question is, would she want to do that right now? Um, I don't know. Well, I know in the series, he has a son. Because they yeah. talked about it in... What was it? What, what Not... It wasn't uh, Beast Morphers. Was was Ninja, when was Ninja the thirtieth Power Rangers thirty fifth anniversary? Let's see, Entertainment Weekly. There's no word if the original cast members are involved or if a special will tri uh, special tribute to original Green Ranger Tommy actor Jason David Frank. Um. So okay, so they're still filming it. Mm. So it's still fairly new. So definitely, that definitely means that uh, there's a possibility that there might have been some pre-production stuff that uh, Jason had his hands on, but there's no way to know for sure. Yeah, it's. I'm so sad about that too, because let's see, we were on hiatus when that happened. Or, or, yes, we were. And I don't think we ever talked about, it, which was really sad. Um, I wouldn't have been in a good mood to talk. I was literally in a slump for a good week. I think all of us were. I was at work when it <clears throat> happened, and I just uh, I a uh, friends of ours in a Discord. They're like, "Hey, this is happening," but there was no confirmed source. Like, no one close to Jason had come out and confirmed it until, like, six hours later. And so everyone was pleading and praying that it was a hoax, only to come find out that it was a uh, that it was true, that we had lost Jason David Frank. I mean... <clears throat> yeah, it really helps it's like a hoax, because, you know, as it usually happens, it happened to Gabriel Galicius. Twice. Twice, and he's, and he's even like, I'm the brother having me twice. Both of which were heart attacks. One of them on Halloween. Yeah. It was hilarious because his friend called him like, Hey, I heard you were dead. No, I'm not. Eh, good. Okay. I figured you'd call. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, when it happened, like, no one knew. Like, you told me. You sent me a text. And I was, I think I was waking up. Yeah. I, I, had, I got the news about 8 a.m., 8, 9 a.m. And I knew you would be up a little later. So I waited to text you. I was just in shock. Yeah, and I saw the tech, but I didn't actually read it because it was, you know, I didn't have my face unlock thing on. So I think I saw it, but I went back to sleep, woke up, opened the text up, like, 
Let's see, I saw some hands. Jason and Frank passed away. Huh? Is this real? Explanation question, explanation question. Yeah, yeah. He had to wait a minute because I was still on the clock. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Why is he still on the back of the horse? <laughs> but yeah, I was in complete shock. It was sad. And. It was just a, it was a hard time because you know he was working on a whole bunch of Power Rangers projects, like the White Ranger movie thing. So the Legend of the uh, White Dragon is in post production. So they finished filming everything. We will still get that movie. Whether we get a, I doubt we're going to get a full theatrical release. But Bat in the Sun did confirm that they're going to try to get it on a streaming platform that a lot of people have access to. Most likely Netflix and. Yeah. Power Rangers on there all the time. Well, it's not a Power Rangers uh, uh, property. True. So. <sighs> but, yeah, we miss Jason dearly. <laughs> I mean, we got to, I got to meet him twice. You got to meet him twice? Or just the one time? I, I got to meet him twice because the first time I went to Dragon Con, he was there. Okay, and the second and, one was with the picture. Yeah, the second one was with that free picture. Yeah. So. Which I still have on my phone. I do, too. Facebook as well, yeah. But guys, I think we're going to call it here. Sorry on the somber note, but I mean, I I'm sure we're Dan's with me on this. We're kind of just out of things to talk about at the moment. Yeah, we haven't really had much of a news week this week, and we're trying to get a little bit more away from the scripted news and a little bit more towards improv. Uh, just you know, kind of, kind of like just two guys talking, and y'all can in, you know interject with y'all's uh, yeah. comments built down below as well. Yeah, comment down below, you know, your thoughts on things, uh, your opinions on what was going on with what we're talking about. Uh, oh, did you also hear that Stadia is finally dead? It's been dead. It's just been flopping like a fish without water for like a last Love year. Let me rephrase that. All the uh, online stuff, I think, has been shut down recently. Uh, the only way I found out about that, I was on Twitter... And a person who does comics of these consoles, live action as women, thankfully nothing in risque, mm -hmm. had it as Stadia and Switch basically being like friends and Stadia dying next to Switch and all that. <laughs> I'm just like, quit making me want to buy a Stadia. <laughs> I mean, you can buy one all you want. It ain't going to work. It's basically a brick of plastic and metal uh, now. Yeah. All right, guys. I'm a talk you can't. I'm a beaut, Dan. Hope you had a blast. We love you guys. Hope you love each other. And don't forget, stay random. Peace out.